Hi there guys what's up this is your friend and tutor Manas and guys today we're going to be continuing with our discussion on orthographic predictions so this is going to be second problem in this series so we have a pictorial representation of the object we're going to be looking at this object from the front from the top and from the right hand side so that we can have as many as three different views front view from here top view from here and the right hand side view from over here okay so let's get started by creating the front view so you can clearly see if you start from this point over here okay so i've already made a point over here and over here and right now we're going to be assuming that this object entirely is at a height of one centimeter or 10 millimeters above the horizontal plane okay and at the same time this object appears as if it is at a distance of 10 millimeters from the vertical plane or in front of the vertical plane okay since this is first angle projection fine so let's go ahead and make this profile this is going to be 30 and this is going to be 36 this is again going to be 30 all right please see where the mouse is hovering 30 36 and 30 fine let's go ahead and do that so this is going to be 36 this is going to be 30 all right and from this end also this end this one we'll go upstairs by an amount of 30 millimeters here again so let's do that quickly so this is 30 okay now what about this profile this is six millimeters towards the right from this point this point six millimeters that's it and then finally we're gonna do this six millimeters from this point also that's it now this v sort of a profile you see um, this bottom portion you see seems to be at a distance of 18 millimeters from over here from this edge okay and then we're gonna travel a distance of nine millimeters upstairs so the best thing to do is this eventually is 36 millimeters half of 36 is going to be uh, at the center and from center we can go upstairs by an amount of nine millimeters okay so this is something which i would be doing so this is 36 from this point to this point this is the center and from here we need to travel a distance of nine millimeters that's it and let's join this point with this point and this point so that's the profile that we've created right now okay and something else is also there in front view okay this much portion this portion you'll be able to see this portion okay now these two sort of corners are going to be joined with a straight line all right so apparent view of those lines are going to be obtained or those edge edges are going to be obtained over here so let's go ahead and do that and for that what i'm going to be doing is this so firstly i need to make this point so this point appears as if it is at a distance of 12 millimeters from this point okay so let's go ahead and plot that 10 12 millimeters so th that's it that's 12 and from here also here also we, we've got to travel a distance of 12 uh, let's go ahead and do that so again i need to draw a line that's it now <clears throat> somewhere along the center of these two points we're gonna have a point over here okay this point seems to be three millimeters below okay if i join this entire thing with the help of a line so that line is going to have a center and from that center we're going to go down by an amount of three millimeters so let's go ahead and do that that's it and afterwards i'm going to be removing this line so we're going to go down below by an amount of three millimeters that's it and now let's me let me remove this line okay okay the only thing that's important is this point so i've got this point fine Let's go ahead and do that. So let us join. All right. All right. Now let me remove this point. So this is exactly how the front view looks. Fine. And as far as this edge is concerned, you, you will be able to see this edge also from the front. So let's go ahead and join that. So that's the front view. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and make the corresponding top view. All right. So let's do that. So as far as the top view is concerned, guys, uh, you're going to be watching this portion. This zigzag line you see will appear as a straight line from the top. Okay. This portion you'll be able to see this again. This zigzag line you see again will appear as a straight line when you speak of a top view. And this line that you will observe will be having a length of 36 millimeters eventually. And this edge will be 35. So what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be drawing this line. This is going to be 36. All right that's 36 that's 35 again 36 and that's 35 so let's come down by an amount of 35 this is going to be 36 and let's close it down so th these are the outlines but what else is 
visible let's let's work that out now you see this portion at the back somewhere along here and you see this point somewhere along here so let's work out those points and uh, let's the de bring these points downwards okay all right fine now what about these points these points this point corresponds to this point this point over here so but they are at the front that's it this point corresponds to this point at the front okay so these are the two points that i have created with the help of the front view that i have already drawn okay now these this point has to be joined with this guy over here all right so let's do that quickly that's it that's it what else what else can be worked out now you can clearly see guys from this point to this point uh, this inclined edge will appear as a straight line from the top and eventually you're going to see this uh, let me bring these th this point downwards and you're going to see this all right so that's the top view okay <clears throat> now we're going to go ahead and uh, darken the portion which will be visible let's do that so this is going to be the portion which you will be able to see from the front okay and something else is left this one okay let me darken this also okay so that's all you'll be able to see from the front all right now let's go ahead and darken the outlines for top view also that's it that's it that's it over let me darken this portion so that's all you can see from the top all right guys now we're going to go ahead and make the corresponding side view and for that what we need to do is we need to draw a reference line again something like this will happen and let me extend this line slightly and uh, the next thing to do is to produce these lines until they meet this new line over here this is actually a reference line or a reference plane you can see this and what's next we're going to go ahead and turn these two lines by an angle of 45 degrees so let's go ahead and do that that's it now I'm gonna copy this line and I'm gonna do the same for this end also and now let me cop select these two points and let me select this line and let me extend this line that's it all right now let me extend point from over here all right and here All right, <clears throat> fine. So what else can be done? This portion from this point. That's it. And from this point also. All okay. Fine, let's get the side view created. Okay, so this is gonna be the right hand side view which has been drawn towards the left of the front view. All right, so as far as first angle prediction is concerned, right hand side view is towards the left of front view and left hand side view is gonna be towards the right of the front view. All right. Now this is the portion which you're going to be seeing. This portion I'm talking about. Okay. So let's go ahead and darken that. Let me darken this so that you can have a very pretty much clear picture. And then this point. Talking about this point. Okay. From here to here. So we'll have a line from this point to this point. All right, but this line cannot be seen. Okay, so we've got to make this hidden line. And for that, let me use a hidden two. That's it. So guys, that's all you'd be able to see from the right hand side view. All right, so this over here represents the front view. This is the top view and this is the corresponding or the right hand side view. Now let me give it some dimensions. this is 30 okay what more this is 35 obviously what else this is 3 fine this is 18 all right this is 9 
So guys, that was all from my side. If you like the content and presentation in this video, then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of you can learn engineering drawing in the best possible way. And guys, I'll be taking up a lot of problems based on orthographic predictions in this upcoming week. So stay tuned. Until then, this is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep drawing.